From time to time, I do get some questions and comments about my poster wall here behind me. And I have done a video on these posters a long time ago, but I realized it's been like years. So even though nothing here has really changed, I thought I would give a little tour of my poster wall anyway. And just as an added bonus to this video, I'm going to show you some more posters that I have stored away that I don't have space for on this wall. And this poster wall is kind of challenging to film in front of because they have a glare on them a lot of the times. Let me show you. See, they get a glare on them really easily. So I haven't quite figured out how to film in front of them, which is why they don't really get the attention they deserve. So why do I have all these posters? Well, you might remember back in the day, metal magazines used to come with posters inside and sometimes compilation CDs as well. So most of these I got from metal magazines in the 2000s, rip to those days. And the thing about all of these posters is most of them anyway are double sided. So a lot of them have great bands on both sides and I had to choose which side. But anyway, let's go ahead and start looking at them. Okay, so first up here is Goat Whore. Yeah, you can tell that is earlier Goat Whore. I don't know, that's probably around 2005 or something like that. And then we have Dark Throne here. And then we have Dissection right here. And this was one where the person on the other side also died in the same way. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see who was up there. I don't remember. Oh, on the other side is Dead from Mayhem. Okay, we're gonna move right along and get this top row. So here we have Gorgoroth and then a Belphegor. I think I got this when I bought a shirt from somebody on Poshmark that included this Conjuring the Dead poster that I think came with their album at the time. Over here, should I be zooming you in? This is a poster from Devastation on the Nation tour that actually came to my city, Belphegor and Dark Funeral and Incantation and Hate. And I was able to snag one of these promotional posters to put on the wall. And then this is just a King Diamond portrait that a local artist did. Okay, making sure it's focused. Now we have this, I don't know, this is probably like 2008 behemoth here. <laughs> nice and cheesy. And then sun and a really nice obituary. And here's a mid 2000s mayhem. And this is a birthday massacre like postcard I got because I really like the birthday massacre as well. Um, over here, this is an electric wizard and a really nice death one here. And I do know on the back of death is King Diamond. So that was a really hard choice, but I've always had it on the death side. Here we have Carpathian Forest and this really nice um, earlier Belphegor. They look very different now, which is so funny. And now let's get down to this bottom row here. So this Dax Riggs flyer. I walked into my post office in college and saw this flyer on the wall and I had been a huge acid bath fan and I did not know Dax was doing solo music. So I saw that he was coming to my city and I did end up going to this show and then I went to eight more shows after that in the coming years. So I totally took this off the bulletin board at the post office once the show was over. Here's Morbid Angel. Here is Peter Steele from Typo Negative. This was very late era Typo Negative. I think this was after um, Dead Again came out. Uh, down here, this is Gaul, but he's kind of blocked. And then I have this Wattain poster that came with Wolf Trident, Trident Wolf Eclipse. Is that it? And I'm just gonna pick you up and show you this stuff. Hold on. This is just like a little, it came with a DVD. Um, I don't even remember what label, but this is just like a cute little 
kind of catalog image of different films that I put up. And similarly, this is just some a promo postcard for Living Dead Dolls. Oh, I didn't show you the carcass poster. I love this one. It's awesome. And then this is from Disperse Press. Disperse Press. And then this was a patch that I got, but my vest was already full, but this is the 25th anniversary of Pagan Terrorism Tactics patch, which I just really thought was pretty. Okay, that's my poster wall. Hopefully you got to see all of it clearly because yeah, I do struggle with the glare. But like I said, that's not all. I have a few more here that I can show you that I just don't have up on the wall. I also have my fair share of Final Fantasy posters and things of that nature, but we're not gonna get into that here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Revolver, Ozfest, 2004. Okay, can we tell who everybody is? Yeah, that's a lot of familiar faces there. And then on the back, Okay, we have this severe torture poster. And then on the other side is Hate Eternal. I don't even know if Hate Eternal is still doing stuff or severe torture. I don't know, I haven't checked in on them because I mean, they're not favorites of mine, which is why the poster isn't on the wall. This is a really nice dismember poster. And I did used to have the other side up. Cataclysm. As I saw that. Look at them. Look at them. Sweet little Canadians. Oh, what? Okay. I didn't, I forgot I had this. This is the booklet from an Epica album, The Quantum Enigma. Yeah, but it like folds out into a poster. It's pretty cool, but I have never hung this up. Gall Hammer. I wonder if they're still around. Anyone know? And then this band, I don't think I ever listened to them. Vesania? Vesania? I have another obituary poster. And on the back of it is Blood Red Throne. I'm pretty sure I had that up at one point. They're not American, are they? Oh, I feel bad I don't have this up. I got Bloodbath here. And I used to know what this says and I don't even know who this is anymore. I can't even read that. Who is that? And then we have Iron Maiden with on the other side, are you ready for this? Arch Enemy with Angela. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this could like go for some money now. Or who wants this? Anybody want this? Let me know. It's just a hundred dollars. I'm just kidding. Okay. And that is really all of my posters. And one final thing I'll show you over here is my like concert ticket display. I'm not going to read them all out to you, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like over here. So we have this poster wall over here. And then if you come right here, these are my tickets. And it's kind of sad that tickets are just not really physical anymore. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I have to print them out or I'll just have like this wristband and I'll write who the wristband was from. Oh, I have some pics. How cool is that? You can check out my video of every concert I've ever been to if you want more details. Also, that's me with Dax Riggs. No big deal. 
Hope you enjoyed my sort of metal museum tour. If you are fairly new to this channel but you're more interested in the metal stuff, I do have a metal playlist. I will link it above and below. Check that out if you want. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!